time for What's Popping, let me tell you. ABC announced that the daytime talk show and cooking show The Chew, which is straight on after us every day, is now cancelled. This following police launching an investigation into Mario Batali after sexual harassment and assault accusations. Mario was asked to leave the show five months ago when sexual misconduct claims first surfaced. There will now be a third hour of Good Morning America to fill that time slot. Now, some happier news from another ABC show. Did we possibly get a sneak peek of a new theme song for The Bachelorette? During an exclusive clip, Becca meets Chris, one of her potential husbands, and he bought a gospel choir to impress her uncle, Gary. Take a listen. I got a rose, you got a rose. All of God's children got a rose. When I get to heaven, gonna carry my rose, gonna shout all over God's heaven. Heaven, oh heaven. I cannot believe that somebody brought a full choir just for me. We already have a choir that can sing as I walk down the aisle. All I can say is, oh Lord. The new season of The Bachelorette premieres this Monday at 8 p.m. right here on ABC 36. Moving from The Bachelorette to, oh gosh darn it, The Bachelor. The series' latest season star, Ari and his fiance Lauren, announced their wedding date just in case you needed to keep that date free, everyone. They will tie the knot on January 1st in Maui and it will be a private ceremony. And because no one will turn up. Moving on to a not-so-happy couple, Kevin Federline wants to increase his $20,000 monthly child support from Britney Spears, so he's taking the singer to court. The couple was married for two years and since 2008, Britney has been paying child support for their two sons. Now, Kevin says he wants the increase because his personal income has decreased dramatically and he claims Britney is making $34 million a year and I do believe he is asking for $60,000 a month now. I don't know what you need to do with 20, let me tell you. Another blonde in the spotlight is Stormy Daniels. Oh, this is funny. The mayor of West Hollywood gave the adult film actress who claimed she had an affair with President Trump, the keys to the city yesterday. A proclamation says that she proves herself to be a profile in courage by speaking truth to power, even under threats to her safety and extreme intimidation. Listen to her response. The community of West Hollywood was founded more than three decades ago on the principle that everyone should be treated with dignity and fairness and decency. And this community has a history of standing up to bullies and speaking truth to power. And I'm so very, very lucky to be a part of it. I am elated and honored. Thank you to everyone. I'm very honored that May 23rd is now known as Stormy Daniels Day, everyone. Hey, speaking of celebrities and politics, a Sex and the City star did not defeat Governor Andrew Cuomo for the Dem Democratic Party's nomination. Cynthia Nixon did not earn the 25% of delegate votes needed to secure a spot on the ballot. So she will now work on getting thousands of petition signatures to get onto the ballot. And here's an ex uh, extra piece of information for you. Hillary Clinton, who believes the US needs more women in office, endorsed Kumo over her. Go figure, huh? Coming up on Midday Kentucky, we're learning more about how alone time should play in a relationship. But first, here's Gary Bertman. He will take us to break.